Welcome out, and today we're here at Props AV with Brady, who's going to give us a quick rundown on the QSC K12.2 yes. versus the QSC K12. That's right. So, Brady, tell us a little bit about what these speakers are and why people would want to rent them. Well, first of or all, buy them. yeah, rent or buy, we rent, and we also sell these. So if you uh, would like to rent these from us, we've got both the K12, the Legend, and we also got the K12.2. Um, you can also purchase some. Uh, give us a call. We'll give you the best pricing. And who ideally would be looking at using these things? Um, your band member, uh, DJs. If you've got a public address, PA needs uh, maybe a church, a school, if you're giving a speech. Um, or if you're just having a party and you want to play back some music, maybe a movie night in the backyard, it really works for just about everybody that needs a, a speaker. And then compare, this is the newer version, the K12.2, right. and this is the older, so compare the two real quick. The K12, uh, the original version, was the legend that is the standard. It's been the standard in our industry for about uh, the last six years. Now, the K.2 is an improvement on that. Um, it's got a speaker. you got your speaker your amplifier and your mixer all built in. It is a 12 inch, 2000 watt self-amplified speaker with a three channel mixer. And how loud are these things? Uh, they're pretty loud, uh, you know, based off of your needs, maybe you need a couple of these, it'll service maybe a couple hundred people, but give us a call, let us know how many people you're trying to reach and we can tell you how many of them that you need. So based off the sp specifics of the event, the room, you guys can tell them exactly yep. if they the need one, of the two. The room, or... the layout, where you're at, that's all gonna okay. kind of be depending of, of your event. And let's talk about a little more in depth about what people need along with it. Sure, um, depending on your needs, you can hook up your DJ, your sound system to this. You can hook up uh, an actual phone, an iPod. You can hook up your microphone directly to the speaker. We'll get into that here in just, or into the mixer. We can get into that here in just a minute. But uh, just about any device that you're trying to connect, we've got the, the inputs for it. So if, any, if someone has an iPhone, they can use this thing and, Absolutely. and re reach their crowd. Okay. Absolutely. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the mixer. Okay, so let me dive into the mixer. This is one of the main things that makes this um, an improvement to the K12. It's got a digital display like you see here. You've got some presets that are already built in that are really nice. Um, right here at the top of the menu, we see it says presets here. You've got your default, and then you've got your live mode. You've got your live bright mode for your, uh, your band members. You've got your dance mode for your DJs. You've got a stage monitor for those that uh, need a, a wedge or monitor. We've got um, just some basic uh, uh, vocal presets, bass amp uh, presets, if you've got a hand mic or if you've got a head mic um, or if you're using it as a studio monitor. So they've made it very simple and actually put some of these presets labeled with your use inside the digital display. So it kind of really makes it uh, um, user friendly, very user -friendly, intuitive. Right? Yeah, so very intuitive. if someone's watching this and like, well, I'm not going to, you can basically show them how to do it yep. when they pick it up or purchase it. Or we can even set it up for you. If you if that, okay. We'll ask you, what are you using it for? And we'll set the presets ahead of time. So right. when you pick it up, it's just ready to go. Let me touch on one other thing here with okay, the mixer too, it. that I think is interesting. Um, you've got, this is an improvement on the K12. You've got actually three different inputs here, whereas the K12 only had two. Gotcha. You've got uh, your two signal lines, and then you also got a, um, a stereo plug, uh, auxiliary cable for your, um, for your uh, phone or your iPod. So what's really nice here, you've got uh, your XLR. We've got an XLR input. If you've got a unbalanced uh, quarter inch cable, you can actually plug in a quarter inch cable into the same jack. Or if you've got your 3.5 millimeter eighth inch headphone cable, You've also got that here Great. and you can adjust each line individually. Um, so you don't need an external mixer. You can have an external mixer, which we do actually recommend for those that are using a lot of different um, inputs, but uh, you don't have to have an external mixer. It's all built in right here. Got you. So someone could be good to go with a, as simple as an iPhone. That's right. Basically. You got your microphone, plug it in. You got your iPhone here. So you got music and, and talk back all right there. Great. Okay. So now tell us about the digital signal processing. <clears throat> this is what really makes the K, uh, K.2 unique and a step up. Inside, we've got some uh, built-in DSP, which stands for digital signal processing. Usually this is an, uh, an external piece that you would have, whether it be an equalizer or a delay, it's all built in here. So this is really nice when you've got a bunch of these 
um, lined up down maybe a streetway or you've got it at a fair or a festival at an outdoor at a church and you kind of get that echoey sound where mm-hmm. someone's talking and you hear it kind of go down the line. The delay, if we go into the delay, you can actually set the delay, tell it how many feet away you are and it'll set the delay so everything's all in sync. Nice. Um, with the EQ, you can go into the build, into the EQ and you can actually adjust some of the EQ settings or you can use some of the presets. So really everything's just built in. The biggest improvement though is going to be that delay and also the, the improvement low end that it's going to give you so it's got a yeah. lot more bass and again for those who understand great for those who are looking for a basic event you guys can help them set all this up absolutely we'll get it all awesome. set up for them uh, so it's a uh, pretty much just plug and play and then lastly this thing looks pretty uh, sturdy tell us about the build yes uh, that's one of the things that made QSC the industry standard is that their build is fantastic it's got handles all in the right spot it's got this this poly uh, thermal plastic, so it's lightweight. It's not going to break your back. Um, very rugged. It's been road ready. It's got a six year warranty, um, which is very nice. Most yep. people have a two year warranty, maybe a three year. When you register this product, you get a six year warranty. So obviously QSC believes in their product. Um, it's got rubber feet all in the right spots, and for those band members, it's got a wedge. So much like this one that we got sit here in the front, if you got it sitting on the stage, that wedge is going to help. Um, put it in the right position so you can use it as a monitor. And then also it has pole mounts, right? It has pole mounts, yeah. On the bottom, it's got two different pole mounts. So if you want to just have it uh, uh, elevated or if you're really up high, you can actually give it a 7.5 degree pitch and it can uh, um, kind of shoot down on your audience. Uh, The cone on the front has got a 75 degree dispersion. So it's really good for that long throw to kind of, yep, to really get it to the back of the crowd very well. Okay. Awesome. So that's the uh, basic rundown on the QSC K12.2. For any other questions, give us a call, propsav.com, and uh, we'll be glad to answer them. Thank you. Thanks, Brady. Thank you, Eric.